Hey guys, Grassman here. Play more, pl more um, Plague Inc. So, we're gonna finish the game we started the other day. And then there's a couple, um... Did we start in Canada? Why did we start in Canada? Oh, it's me, right! <laughs> Okay, now I see why we started in Canada. So. I've been, cons I've been considering, like, actually... Hey, it's a me awareness day! Don't have me awareness day, it'll just make me more popular. You're infected as soon as you hear of me. What was I, like a parasite or something? It's a transmission, I don't think it mattered. Um, I'll take cold resistance 1, I don't really need it because I'm already resistant to the cold because of where I started Canada. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, believe it or not, are actually a giant problem in Canada. Like, you'd think no mosquitoes would live there, it's way too cold. But it get... In some spots, it, mosquitoes can get bad. During the, the summer, it's just... It is a lot of mosquitoes. In some parts, anyway. I'll get drug resistance, that'll help in America. You seem to end up with, like, drug resistance of whatever, depending on what country you're in. Just in your uh, starting country, you end up drug resistant. And because I'm not doing good in the U.S., but I did amazing in Canada. Good in the U.K. as well. Move this down a bit. They are starting on a cure. Oh, there's Iceland. I'm gonna get heat resistance, and I'm gonna go for genetic hardening. <laughs> I was placed on the watch list. Everyone has to watch me. <laughs> Why does it work so well? There's genetic hardening. I didn't know how much. I didn't know how much it was. So yes, it's causing insanity, seizures, and inflammation. Um, paralysis could probably cause. I don't know if anything else really. Coughing. Too much laughing leads to lung damage and coughing. Makes sense. Um, I think I'll take birds. Seventeen. There's Greenland. It's a really early Greenland. So I'll take rat too. I'll take paralysis. Um, I don't think it causes. I don't think I would cause comas. If if, you, if I put you in a coma, you can't watch my things, my content anymore. That wouldn't be helpful. Dysentery? What? No. Devolve that. When I get the refund. Pneumonia. Stop laughing, guys. You'll get pneumonia. Um, immune suppression, eh, fever, eh, eh, scarring of the lungs, yeah, pulmonary fibrosis seems good. 
Stop laughing, guys. You get pulmonary fibrosis. And that's just total organ failure. I think we got everything that relates to, like... Yeah, now we're just gonna go for, like, drug resistance, and... It's more than two years now. We're still not huge in a couple of places. Uh, I think we hit most of the island. We hit all the islands. I think we I think we are everywhere. Morocco, Algeria, and West Africa. Yes, yeah, so that's just there, there, and there. So that's just three places we need some more land transmission for. I'll give it air. I think on the computer version, there's like a dust one, and that helps in like arid countries. Um, air should help though. That area is a lot of desert. Oh, uh, there's West Africa. So yeah, it's just desert we need to get through. 50 million. Morocco and Algeria actually have a lot of people there. For, like, deserts. And they don't really have water. Rodent? I don't know. What's good in these places? Poor country. Hot climate. Poor rural. Okay, well then, livestock and blood. Blood is good and poor. Livestock's good and rural. We're killing people, but not very fast. We're at Iceland leading global cure effort. We've only killed 26 million. We're killing a couple million per day. You guys are laughing too hard. Global research focused on cure. The world's just trying to dedox me. Uh, fever? Yeah. Sweating? Yeah. I learned that actually rash, sweating, and skin lesions will keep fever. I don't think we need sweating. I guess we could get sweating. It just helps. <laughs> um, I've learned that, like, apparently when you start the game getting rash, sweating, skin lesions, and then ne necrosis increases infectivity, lethality, and severity quite a bit. It's actually, like, this is the way you speedrun the game by getting those four. You get those four, and then you kind of just focus on symptoms because they end up adding enough transmission. Get that. I guess I should go for abilities. I still need the second genetic thing. I'm killing people very slowly. There's Morocco. So I need 29. I'm not sure. Can be fatal when combined with intense exercise. You heard it, you heard it first here, guys. Don't laugh and exercise. No, we'll probably play one more after this. And later, I'm hoping to um at some maybe not later, but at some point I want to do like a. I think I tried a coronavirus mode before. It's where you like just take lung symptoms, just take symptoms caused by the coronavirus, which would be like. Lung things, insomnia. Insomnia, because, you know, red eyes is a symptom. Take, like, the coughing, sneezing, pulmonary ordemia, fibro and fibrosis, and fever were the only bad ones. Uh, immune suppression, suppressing immune system, it kind of it kind of does something similar where it, like, turns the immune system against you. So it's got, like, immune suppression, pulmonary fibrosis. It's got just a couple of... It's got, like, four lethal things. And you start in China, and you just see how far you can go. I'll take that. It's already... It's only 5% dead. I have a feeling this is just going to take a long time to progress. My skin lesions, I'll to get rid of that.
yeah, so maybe next time I'll try next I'm gonna try and like speed run it. I'll just do the necrosis. I'll do like the rash, sweating, skin lesions, necrosis, and just focus symptoms, see how good that goes. Okay, no healthy people left. I'm not really gonna make it more deadly though. Ten percent dead. So now it's just about how many are dying a day. About ten million dying a day. Okay, so next I'll just try and like do a speed run, how they do speed run stuff. Um For speedruns you're supposed to start in like Saudi Arabia. It's got like a spider web of airplanes. The airplanes from there go everywhere. From China, you just infect some of the near countries, then Japan goes off to the left, U.S. brings it back to the right. But Saudi Arabia lets you go everywhere pretty fast. Um, near that. I'm not gonna give you dysentery, don't worry. Once this is more than two years, or... Yeah, so once that, once that goes up now... So at 362 days, once that goes, like, back up higher, I'll know I'm gonna win. I think, I'm not sure if this is casual or normal, I forget. They could cure me. They're at 333 days. If I'm killing 10 million a day, doing the math, I would kill... If I'm killing 10 million a day, I would kill 3 billion before they hit their goal. Plus I've got access to like the genetic reshuffle. Just threw them a far way back. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here and unpause it when we get back to there. Okay, something I've never seen happen before happened. Um, maybe it wasn't here. It didn't say here. It said people are paranoid in Iran. I think it was Iran or I Iraq. And it was like people are paranoid. You can check. Um. Something was like, people are getting extremely paranoid because I have the paranoia symptom, and they're distrusting the global cure effort. Which I've never actually had happen before. I've never had it where it's... I also got coma. It just evolved itself. I've never had it where it's... I've had paranoia for so long, it actually gave me that pop-up message. We're killing about 10 million a day, meaning this is going to take like another two years. Okay, what can I just pick up that makes it more deadly and still makes some sort of sense? Um, immune suppression. You don't need an immune system. Sp Insanity. Spallon has been selected to replace the ill president instead of the vice president. Who's Spallon? I've never had the game last so long where insanity and paranoia did this. Make people distrust the global cure effort, and then make them put in a really bad... Well, I mean... I mean... They put in Trump. So... Maybe everyone's insane already. Maybe I didn't do this. Insanity. Instead of a good president, they put in Trump. Don't help cure efforts. 26-4-24. Couple of days. 28-4-24. So they've started... Yeah, now they're gonna lose. So I've killed enough at this point, they're going to lose now. Meaning we can just speed this up once we get another... 
Once we get something. More DNA, please. If I get one of the DNA patches for two and then just one... We're still killing only about 10 million a day. Yeah, they're gonna... they're losing though. How much do I need? I just one. I'll wait then. Why are they culling all livestock? That that will prevent transmission. They need to actually just work on the cure. Oh. Okay. Well, interesting timing. Um, um being more deadly. It's about 15 million a day now. Okay, I'm just gonna pause and wait again. We're about to have our first destroyed country. As you can see, nothing's destroyed yet, but Greenland its government fell and now it's losing like a thousand a day. We're still at 1.3 billion. Greenland's going down though. Iceland's near near the end as well. Actually, I think most places are three quarters dead. Greenland though is like 95%. I wonder, I, th I think the government, when it says their government has fallen, it means they, the population starts to die faster. Greenland's government fell, and then it imme I looked at it and immediately started losing hundreds a day. Oh, here goes Greenland. These last people are surviving longer. The rest of the world's down to 86% are gone. And the cure is still five years away. Or anything else. There's just nothing else we can get. Actually, we look at symptoms. In between um, paralysis, coma, total organ failure, and pulmonary fibrosis. That part of Brazil actually looks like a perfect hexagon that fits there. Okay, so Greenland, so the world's down to 450,000, 450 million, and Greenland's about to go. Is there anyone else destroyed yet? Oh, yeah, quite a, quite a bunch of places are destroyed. One, zero. Greenland is destroyed. I didn't notice there were other places destroyed. So the world is doing 95% dead. China. China's doing better than normal. India's doing about the same. China's got more than half the world's population remaining. We're only getting like 5 million deaths now. It's slowing down, so I'm going to pause again. Once we're more near the end, I'll resume. Oh, actually, problem solved. Everyone in Canada's dead. <laughs> We all laughed ourselves to death. I'm gone. They just have to what? They just have to delete my YouTube channel now. If I'm gone to not make, if I can't make more YouTube videos, they just delete all the current ones. Problem solved. China's got three quarters of the remaining world population. The U.S. has most of the rest. Is that right? No, it's not. There's still 20 million. We've got millions yet. West Africa has 17 million. Iceland's about to go down. Ukraine. Balkans has... So Balkans is 4 million. Central Af... Um, where is it here? West Africa has 11 million. And China has 128 million. And that's about the remaining population of the world. 
Everywhere else is just holding on a few thousands. Okay, update. Four countries left. Afghanistan's got a couple thousand. Libya's nearly dead. China's completely gone now. And Germany's got the remaining part of the population. And there goes Libya. Germany and Afghanistan are the only ones remaining. Okay, here's the end of the world. 400 people, they're all German. 55, 51, and that's a lot of Germans dead. Okay, and here's the end of the world. Great, it only took 1400 days. That's. How many years is that for? Okay. So we're gonna try and, like, speedrun virus. Um. Like, brutal. Oh. Brutal. Um. <laughs> um. Merka. Trying to go fast. Rash is three. Yeah, this increases severity and infectivity or something. Oh. It's been very slow. Skin lesions are 10. How much do they increase stuff by? A lot of infectivity, a bit of severity. And then necrosis is a lot of lethality, tons of severity, and infectivity versus 30, though. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a speedrunning strat, but it's actually going pretty slow. an issue. Fever mutated, I guess that's okay. Just adds adds some stuff. No one's dead yet. There's a fever outbreak though. Come back to you once it spreads more. Okay, so we infested the, infected the Middle East, Iraq, Iran, and East Africa. There's necrosis, which makes the whole thing tons more severe, meaning we're gonna get more DNA as well now. And there's Egypt. Get some blood. That'll give um increased poor transmission. Two thousand dead now. Yeah, now deaths are going up.
video will probably be slightly longer than normal. Because I do want to be able to finish this one. Can't actually speed up. Merging shock? Ten for sneezing. There's the web that starts to go out. Hit Iceland there. Nice. Yeah, so we've got only one transmission, but because we've got so many symptoms, it get, just gets... The symptoms add to infectivity. So once we get bigger, I'll unpause again. Okay, so... We got, um, I got the three viral things as well as some cold resistance, so I'll start doing better in cold countries, and I'm immune to... And I'm gonna start evolving more... It's gonna start evolving itself more rapidly. I need drug resistance. It's gonna take more than four years. As for Saudi Arabia, we've already killed 66% of them. We're already very lethal. But the amount of people I've infected is still going up. Merca placed on watch list. Merca, fuck yeah. I have no idea what Merca is supposed to mean. Oh, and there's paranoia mutated. Great. I guess they inv they inv um, mer mer not America, Merca invaded Saudi Arabia and then they spread out and started invading from there. I think this is one of my new favorite styles to play. I like playing it where I don't evolve symptoms at all, and I just let the virus do it. I also like playing it, I also like, seem to like, I, I, I like this, where it's just, go fast, and... Saudi Arabia does seem like a good place to start as well. Um, inflammation. Oh no, it killed all the hosts in the U.S. That's really bad. I don't know if I can reinfect the U.S. I think you kill all your hosts in a certain area. One Iceland, one dead. Australia still has people. I'm killing too fast, because we ended up with like... The hemorrhaging shock. I think I'm gonna lose this one. It spread, but then it ended up killing all of its hosts way too fast. Canada leading global cure effort. Canada only got like, it got 10 people. All of North America is relatively safe. I don't think you can reinfect somewhere. Just something that's kind of like bad about it. You should be able to reinfect somewhere. Oh, I remember what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get the whole air and water tree of transmission. Oops, symptom. So you're supposed to get the whole air and water thing. Once you get some of the, like, you're supposed to get like the first four symptoms, then some coughing and sneezing, and then the whole air and water tree. So that's what I did wrong, and that's what I'm going to end up losing here. Okay, I'll continue on a moment. So, okay, so surprisingly... I mean, unsurprisingly, we lost pretty bad. Infectivity's all the way up, severity's really high, lethality's halfway. And we're obviously losing. So many places we're uninfected. Plus, we can't re-get to Iceland, or US, or Canada. But... We've still managed to kill three and a half billion people. Killed almost half the world. And that's because we've completely wiped out India. Ton of Africa, the Middle East, and all of South America are gone. China got hit, but not hard. 
numbers are actually going up in China because of a higher, higher infectivity, so we could very well kill all of China and end up with a four and a half billion dead. I've just got to slow the cure. It's only got 57 days. I need more than that to paralysis mutated. I need a lot more than that to stop to get past China. I need a better drug resistance for the US and Canada. And Europe. So, like, some of these places, like Central Europe, never even got affected. Ukraine, Poland. Spain and the UK. Like, uh, Spain, the UK, Iceland. Some of these places got hit and then. And the, some of the places got hit and then they lost it. It's like a world of 70% dead. There are a bunch of places I hit and then I lost. Because it started killing too fast. Double genetic reshuffle. 200 days. 20% left healthy. So the plague ravaged the world, but... It kind of left the modern world alone. It left North America and Europe and Russia alone. Actually, it did get into Russia. It is still going bad in Russia. I think any of the countries it's in... All these countries it's in right now... Russia, Balkan states, and Mexico it's going to get worse in, and the other countries it's going to kill. It's only those one, those surviving good countries, though. Because right now, I think if it's in a country, they're pretty much doomed. They're kind of screwed. Tumors. So I am still infecting people, because I'm getting bigger in Russia, the Balkans. Oh yeah, the Balkans was unlucky enough to end up getting hit. It looks like everyone's just closed all land borders, and it's going to be like... Oh, Mex- I didn't know Mexico got hit. It looks like Mexico's going to go down. Um, Balkans is probably helping with drug resistance. 182 days, 80, more than 80% of the world. I guarantee you I'll just kill all my hosts before I'm um, dying. Before getting cured. And there goes the rest of me. I'm still increasing slowly in Russia. Sometimes increasing, sometimes decreasing. Depends how many I kill. Uh, the Balkans are about to get wiped out. Where are the other places? Russia, Balkans, and... Well, wow, Russia, Balkans, and New Guinea are the only places I'm even still in. New Guinea just fell. Balkans is about to go. So I've got... I've just got Russia. So 81% of people died. Russia still has a couple hundred thousand. Or a couple million. It's got 200 million. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I just hit Korea. So my only mistake... I was in Australia, I wasn't quite New Zealand, I was in these, I was in most of Europe, I wasn't in Gre in Greenland yet. My only mistake was I didn't get these, I didn't get the transmission things soon enough, so I ended up killing my hosts too fast. Had I had, because I got to these places, had I been allowed to stay and spread, I would have also likely hit Greenland once Europe became infected. Um... Because Iceland sends boats there. Had, hadn't hit New Zealand. I'd just gotten to Korea. So now Korea's seeing my wrath as well. Just gotten to the Ukraine. But it's killing just as many as it has infected at the moment. So it's like... It was just a bit too lethal and not enough infectious early on. 124 days. I'm going to see how many more I can get. Okay, Russia's completely gone. Everyone's dead. Um, Korea is pretty much completely dead. It, like, blew up there and then it went away. So now it's just Ukraine. I've got 800 people in the world, they're all in Ukraine. So it's just... I killed 6 billion people, though. 84%. And if I had done, done the infection better, I had been pretty much everywhere else. The only countries that were never infected... were, like, Iceland. Iceland and New Zealand, Poland, and Central Europe. So it's just about whether Ukraine holds on or not. So how fast can I get Ukraine? 
Okay, so here's how it ends. This is, the last people are all in the Ukraine. They bombed their infected cities. They're down to just a couple hundred. We had all the symptoms but three. Had all this bit, all this stuff. Cure's ready in 35 days. Overall, we killed 6 billion, which is 80, about 84 to 85%. As for the Ukraine, there's coma, we mean we're only missing two. Which is total organ failure, the really lethal one, and seizures. And in the Ukraine, we didn't touch 1% of our population. It's still going, it's going to be 85 days, I'll update you at the end. Here it goes, the last eight. We had all but two. Cure was going to be done in 30 days. And that's it. Over 600 billion dead. Only 1 billion. Only 1 billion 750 or 75 million reigning. And that was on Brutal, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. Go to end the video so don't, the thing doesn't corrupt. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.